maintaining the voice on the road was something that was terrifying because in the studio it was very difficult for my first time around with Sepultura. And I needed to go to a vocal coach that a lot of people were telling me would do me some serious good. So I went to this person's house, Ron, Ron Anderson. He was fantastic. And I really learned a lot, and I wanted to demonstrate some of the things that he taught me. The main thing was really being able to push the air from the diaphragm, from the stomach area, and to have that be the force that really propels the music, propels the sound. And it was important to really keep this strong and to have this work in a way where you're not destroying your throat and not destroy your voice. So if you're pushing that air, it's something that you have to focus on, or at least I had to focus on in the very beginning. But it became so natural, and it becomes natural once you go over a song and you know the areas that you need to push. And this was something that is very important. Even as a boxer, there's certain breaths that you're taking and you're holding in in order to not get hit, a body shot, and to expel all your air and be passed out. With singing and doing heavy music, especially heavy metal music, it was very important to have a very strong diaphragm and being able to push the air out in a way where it seems unhuman. So I, this was a process that I had to go through over and over and over again and really relaxing my throat as I did. And this is something that stayed with me for over 20 years now, along with a few other things that I'm going to demonstrate for you that have helped maintain my voice on tour, off the tour, and really, there has never been a time that we've had to cancel a show because of my voice, and it's been over 20 years. And I think it's pretty incredible considering the music that we do is extreme. 